So I was just scrolling through social media this morning, minding my business, when I came across a post that stopped me in my tracks. This investigation found carcinogens in all 10 products of artificial braiding hair that we tested. A lot of us have not trusted this hair. We soak it in apple cider vinegar before using it. I have put mine in the washing machine. So it has long seemed like something ain't right. I want to know more. What made you think this was even something that needed to be studied? So for two reasons. Number one is the acute uh, reactions to artificial braiding hair of itching, outbreaks, folliculitis, which is inflammation of the hair follicles, rashes, that the hair stinks, it smells, it makes them nauseous. The second thing is because it is a chemical product, there's a chance for harmful chemicals to be introduced to the product. What were you testing for? We decided to test for heavy metals. We also tested for volatile organic compounds. So what did you find? In the area for heavy metals, we found no arsenic, which was good news. We found uh, cadmium at a low level, but we found lead at a concerning level, a level that was so high that we would be concerned that consumers using this product, the lead could actually be transferred into their bodies. And lead is associated with various cancers, immunosuppression, um, uh, suppression of reproductive activity, and in children, could hurt their brain and, and brain development. For volatile organic compounds, we found a number of them having cancer-causing compounds. That includes benzene, which is one of the most dangerous chemicals that could be used in the laboratory, so much so it's strictly regulated. And we found benzene in three different products. They were detected, but we could not quantitate it. So we know it's there, we just don't know how much. We also found acetone. Acetone is used in nail salons to remove the nails, remove the, the nail polish itself. It was found in every product that we tested, but also in some products it was found in extremely high levels. It does irritate the respiratory system. So your nose, your throat, your chest, your lungs. How much lead was, was in some of the samples? So it ranged out of the 10 different brands that we examined, it ranged from about 136% of the safe level all the way up to over 600%. A lot of people think that if you soak the hair in vinegar, specifically apple cider vinegar, that it will clean it. It will get rid of a lot of these chemicals. Have you seen any scientific evidence that soaking synthetic braiding hair in vinegar cleans it or eliminates any chemicals? I have not seen any information in the data and the scientific literature that this actually works. So what are we supposed to do now? We, we love our braids, summer's coming, what are we supposed to do? If you wear braids four to six weeks, maybe shorten the time that you have the braids in your hair to lessen your exposure, to lengthen the time between braiding um, incidents. If you are having reactions, talk to your doctor but also report any of these to uh, the FDA, which should be regulating this product. The reporting is important, why? Like, what if the company won't do anything about it? I think it's important because many times when you go to a regulatory agency and ask about a product, they will look into their databases to see if anyone has complained and could come back and say, well, there are no reports of a problem with artificial braiding hair, but unless we report it, they can't say to us, well, no one's complaining about it if it's already in your database because our community has reported these problems. I've included the link here and they list all the brands and all of their findings for the specific brands. And please like and subscribe.